from a place we're not allowed to reveal in Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No. I... I'm your host. Write down our toll-free telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. Such a pleasure to be sitting in this chair. On a day like today, are you kidding me? In case you haven't heard, the new ratings came out today for Los Angeles, Orange County, and the Tom Likas show is now rated number one among men, 18 and older. That's all men. 18 to 180 and beyond. Men who speak English, men who speak Spanish, men who speak Korean, men who speak Farsi. We got a lot of men who speak Farsi who listen to this show. You hear from them all the time. Uh, We are number one in men, period. End of story. No afternoon show in Los Angeles has more men listening than we do. And uh, in case you haven't been following how these things are scored, it's the first time since Howard Stern left that we got back to the numbers we used to have. Because when Howard was here, we had uh, huge numbers. We were number one in men. It was pretty routine. But, um, you know, I've been very blunt about this. I've been very upfront about this. You know, when you lose the most significant radio personality in the last quarter century. There's going to be some instability for a while. There's going to be some people sampling other radio stations or uh, changing their habits or trying other things. But I have a long history in this business, and I have always known that if you give it some time, and uh, the, the amount of time is about a year and a half, 18 months to be exact, people eventually revert back to their original listening patterns. And they have. And we just had the best ratings we've had since Howard left. And in fact, we were number one in men when Howard was here on 97.1 KLSX in Los Angeles. And we are number one again, this time without Howard. It would be like Kobe Bryant winning a championship without Shaquille O'Neal. Something he's never done. Well, I've won my championship without my Shaquille O'Neal. I did not ask them to trade Howard Stern, I'll tell you that. But uh, Howard went off and did his own thing, and uh, we had to figure out how to do it without him. And we have. So my thanks to our staff, congratulations to the people who work with me here, and our thanks to you for making this possible. Holy cow, it's, it's exciting. It's very exciting. So, um, as I have said, and again, you may just be tuning in here and finding this out, um, we had, uh, obviously, when your ratings, we always said the reason we want to get ratings is to charge the highest possible amount for advertising. And uh, we have a number of loyal advertisers who stayed and stuck behind us, and then a few who taken a wait-and-see attitude. Well, uh, those of you who have taken a wait-and-see attitude, I wouldn't wait and see anymore, because uh, if you wait, here's what you're going to say. The rates are going up. And so if I were you, I'd lock in my rates today. 
Because as you know, you always sell on the numbers of the recent past, and right now our recent past is number one in men. If you are a former advertiser, better call your account executive and get on the horn and say, don't leave me behind in a cloud of dust here, because you will be left behind. And, um, you know, if you want to get the current rates, I don't even know if they, they've raised the rates already, because frankly, I know around here they don't let a lot of grass grow under their feet, but if I were you, I'd call and find out what's going on. And uh, here in Southern California, the number for your friends here at CBS Radio is 323-971-9710. It's 323-971-9710 uh, to call your account executive and lock in your advertising rates because I'm telling you right now, rates are going up. We're number one in men. We're driving the bus. And our thanks to the advertisers who have stuck by us, and you all know who you are. Larry Miller and company, you all know who you are, who've stuck with us through all of this. And uh, you'll be richly rewarded by having done so. Those who took a wait-and-see attitude, well, they'll have to wait and see. Anyway, number one in men, a great day, a good day to party. Gary and I have got a couple of beers already. We're just kind of enjoying this. And uh, thanks, by the way, uh, uh, thanks also to uh, all the other radio stations out there for putting people on the air like Joe Grande and Matt Money Smith and all the other exciting talent they've uh, put on to try to come at us. (laughs) And who was that guy who used to talk to himself at night? Whatever happened to him? Yeah. That's what I thought. That's right. We've seen them come and we've seen them go. By the way, every one of them has tried to start something with me. They've all tried to get me into a feud with them, get me into a fight with them. Big waste of time. It's bad enough that our own station, Brian Whitless, is on the air trying to drag me into a feud, which it it won't happen. You can keep trying. It's not going to happen. I've seen the results, by the way, of his attempt to uh, cause like a little feud between us. How's, how's that done for the ratings? Find out tonight at 8. I, I'll save the good news for, for Brian. He can tell you how, how well that's going. But, uh, no, the other stations, you know, they, yeah, they, you know, for example, we've got these god-awful, pansy-ass sports talk stations here in Los Angeles. With microscopic audiences, I mean, you may listen occasionally to these stations, but the audiences literally are microscopic. Uh, In fact, we had to take out the electron microscope just to find out where they stand on the ratings right now. And if you add up the ratings of all the sports, I'm, I'm not making this up, and I'm not just saying this is hyperbole. It's true. If it weren't true, believe me, they'd be uh, suing us or... They'd be doing something against us, coming on the air, making an announcement or something. If you add up the ratings of all sports talk radio in Los Angeles combined, it is less than what we have on this station all day long. Less. You, uh, If you are a listener, you may think Jim Rome is the most popular guy in the world. Look at the ratings. That's a very select audience. A very small and select audience. And uh, whatever your favorite show happens to be on one of those stations, trust me when I tell you, you won't hear them reading the numbers on the air. You can't read what you don't have. And they always love to go to the advertisers and say, yeah, we're doing what they're doing. Yeah, we're doing. You know, you know, Tom Likas, we're, we're, we're doing that, too. We're not just talking about sports, you know. We're talking about guy stuff. Because it's for guys, just like they're for guys, we're for guys, we're better than they are. And yeah. If you're an advertiser and you see the salespeople from KLAC or ESPN Radio, ask to see the actual ratings. Ask. Say, I want to see the Arbitron numbers. Show me. In the case of KLAC, show me the money. <laughs> you're not going to find them. Money's in the Witness Protection Program. That's exactly right. 
So, uh, yeah, of course this is a lot of fun. Are you kidding? Yes, it's a lot of fun. Because we've withstood a lot of adversity here, and we have fought through this period after losing Howard. And because we're an entertainment program, what are we going to do? Hit you over the head with that every day? Come on, that's our problem, not your problem. But now that we have surmounted Mount Everest and succeeded without Howard Stern, I can tell you that uh, everybody around here has worked very hard to achieve this, to become number one in men again in the post-Howard era. And I know those other stations are quaking in their boots. Let's give out that number again. 520-KLAC. That's 520-KLAC. 520, you know, this is a call-in show. Let me give that number again. It's 520. <laughs> These sports talk radio stations are this close to becoming taxi frequencies. I'm telling you right now. In fact, I think I think taxi calls would probably get more ratings than calls about sports. Seriously, if you're an advertiser, take my word for this, okay? If you're advertising on those stations, ask them to show the Tom Lyka show versus the shows on ESPN Radio and KLAC. Ask. Ask to see the specific numbers for the latest arbitrage. And uh, then you decide if, if if you really think any advertising dollars ought to be going over there. Well, seriously, if you don't get on the phone with our station by the end of the day and lock in the rates, you're going to get left behind. Serious. I'm going to call over the sales department during the break because I'm sure the phone is ringing off the hook at this point. 323-971-9710. You better get your account executive on the phone. If you want to be on the number one rated Tom Likas show, number one in men, in the biggest, most important radio market in the United States of America, this is the time to do that. Your telephone calls are coming up. Tom, 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 Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom is a talk master, so you can't... Get on this radio and say certain things to him because he's going to eat you alive. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. At 1 800 5800 Tom, the Tom Likas Show, number one in men in Southern California. Jonathan on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Not much, John. Uh, the ratings, obviously, right? What do you think they were? <laughs> hey, uh, Tom, I was interested in finding out uh, where can I? Uh, is there a website where I where I can actually see the ratings that you're talking about? Nope, it's available only to subscribers. We are subscribers. Oh, okay. But so we, not for the we, public. Yeah, we can't turn it over to you, but we can tell you. Right. As I just did. Okay, and how do they uh, measure those ratings? How can they tell how many people are listening at any given time? They have methodology that I can't discuss on the air. Okay. Uh, and uh, certainly you're welcome to contact them and find out what it is. But uh, right, we, don't right. want to do, we don't want to do anything ever that would in any way uh, be perceived as influencing the process. And by that, yeah. by, by not influencing the process, uh, you play fair and uh, you get what you get. And we just got great numbers. Makes sense. Also, I heard you mention uh, a couple of minutes ago about some kind of feud with uh, Brian Whitman. You care to? No, no. I, I don't. Again, as you are trying to stir the pot where there's no pot to be served. I said. No, no, no. I just. I he has uh, attempted to drag me into a feud with him. Okay. And, and that that will not work. I will not get into a feud with him. Okay. And see, I just kind of assume since you guys worked for the same radio station, you guys all hung out and you know. Well, beers together and whatnot. I thought that would be a good idea, you know. I thought we should all be on the same side. Right, but right. for whatever reason, he decided it was necessary to try to drag me into a feud. Yeah, because you know they do imitations of you at night, right? Well, I'll tell you what. Tonight, about 8 o'clock, why don't you call his show uh -huh. and ask him um, how that uh, how that has affected the ratings. How, how good are the ratings uh, uh, doing that kind of a show? Ask Ask him. Ask her to break out the numbers. 
Okay. What do you think his response will be? I don't know. You'll have to call him and ask him. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Hey, congratulations, Tom. Keep up the good work. Can you take me out African tribal style? Of course I will. Baninge, 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 so penza. Baninge, 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 so penza. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Orlando on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Mr. Likas. How you doing tonight? The do you care, Orlando? Oh, I care very much. I listen to your radio 24-7 if I could. Love that. Yeah. I hear you got big numbers, man. That's yeah, a good job. You man. thought all I had was big brass balls, but I've also got big numbers. <laughs> oh man you know what i've been listening to your radio for the last five years and since i've been listening to you i have the f with women as much as i want i don't get no problems no no gains so i just listen to what you say every day and i take it on my life as i go and experience the new adventures you know what i mean i love it so you're getting more ass than a toilet seat huh orlando oh yes you won't Leave me. I, I just, you know what I mean? Everything being so good. It's not so difficult. You know, I thought it was, but it's not. No. All you have to do is treat women like crap, and you'll have all the sex you want. Me back for more. Yes. Yeah, believe it or not. I, I try, you know, hey, it hey. work. You know what I mean? It yes, works I for a little while, then expect more and more. That's right. But then you treat them like, you know, like, Crap, uh, crap. right? Oh, what's it... wrong? Why didn't you love me no more? <laughs> nah, you know, this is good. You're going to take advantage, and then you're going to be running around and you know, playing games. That's right. Yeah, hey, you know what? I told my friends about you, and some guy goes, ah, oh, he doesn't know. I tell him, listen to him. Just listen to him. And then, you know, then he comes, you know, he comes to work, listening you know, to you on the radio, and I tell him, what happened? He goes, Oh, man, I didn't know, you know what I mean? This guy's awesome. Tom, yeah, he gives you advice and you learn from him, man. And that's like your dad, he should have a talk with you a long time ago. You know, listen, boy, those are dangerous. <laughs> they can play you for a fool. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I know. Congrats on that. And well, can you take me, Kobe? <laughs> I'll take you out, Kobe style. Here you go, Orlando. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Oh. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our oh. telephone number. Robert, on the Tom Likas Show, the day we found out we were number one again in men. Hello. Hello. Congratulations to you and your staff. Doing a wonderful job. Thank you, Robert. Listen, I wanted to ask you, getting uh, back a little bit to uh, Howard Stern, you... Uh, been a big fan of Howard's, uh, but I have not yet uh, jumped to serious radio. I have not actually heard any of his shows, but I was wondering, from the data that you were citing regarding Howard and his listeners, have you found that he's been uh, losing listeners? Because uh, I'm no, there's, the, there's no, 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 there's no way to know uh, what has happened to the listenership since he started because I think this was the first ratings that came out, so there's nothing to compare it to. Gotcha. All I can say is, compared to the listenership he had in terrestrial radio, if if the twenty million figure is accurate, he has about one tenth that audience today. I see. And, but and, but but he's about five hundred million dollars ahead. So. <laughs> oh yeah, no. I mean, it's I, all I, have, I have no doubt that he's you know uh, reaped the financial rewards. I was just wondering. If uh, also, if since you've listened, I'm assuming that you've listened to his show. Yeah, I have. I've to, heard his uh, show. Satellite. Sure, I have. Have you found that he's he's uh, been able to carry on the uh, the um, uh, the type of show that he had? The by that I mean the uh, the quality of show that he used to have on TV because he's has no limit now i'm thinking how much can you do and you mentioned this before earlier on the show uh you know how many times can you say the f word and and it gets kind of stale and because they had to blotch out a lot of the uh the things when he had his tv show 
kind of meant a lot to the uh, listener as well as the viewer when he was on uh, television as well as uh, public radio. But now he's just kind of no holds barred. And I'm wondering if he still has that quality of show that he once had. I think Howard Stern is still one of the great broadcasters of our generation, uh, maybe the greatest uh, and the most important and the most famous. And, um, yes, I think he still does a great show. Uh, I do believe that uh, with his talent, uh, he can work clean, he can work dirty, he can work any which way. And the uh, fact is, if Howard Stern gave up satellite radio tomorrow and came back to terrestrial radio and lived within the rules, he'd still be the number one show, just like he used to be. Yeah, I agree with you. I, I think he wouldn't drop a step. I'm I'm sorry to see him go, and I don't think he's going to do that, but uh, unfortunately for a lot of his listeners, but uh, I just think radio should be free, and I think he had the uh, quality of show to put it on the airwaves and continue it, but, you know, good fortune to him. Well, I as I've, said, what he as I've said, if somebody offered me half a billion dollars, uh, I love you to death, but uh, I'm doing the old soft show. I hear you. I hear you. And you'd be worth it. Well, apparently nobody thinks I'm worth half a billion. And by the way, nobody but Howard Stern is worth half a billion. Uh, so I had to make a choice. And my choice was uh, that uh, Howard's art is different from my art. And uh, I enjoy working within the constraints of the system and trying to be clever within the rules more than I would enjoy just being able to say the F word all the time. That's me. Do you think I'm you not could criticizing on, him for that. Do you think you could put on as as creative, as uh, talented of a show as you do now if you if you weren't constrained with... Uh, I don't believe that saying the F word makes me more creative than not saying the F word. I that's, agree with but you. But that's me. Yeah, I, I agree mean, with you. And the I, thing, I what's important is what makes... When you're an artist, as, as Howard is, what's important is what makes you happy. Howard not only got a great financial deal... He felt he needed to do that kind of show. Now, it's sad that 18 million of his listeners have not followed him over there. And I, you know, I, I, I hate to see that happen to Howard. I really do. But he was being well compensated uh, for that loss. Oh, I'm sure he is. And, and I think uh, he ha I haven't read anything uh, as far as uh, re any interviews that he's done since he's been on uh, Sirius. But I think he's taken back a little bit himself, knowing that he had so many viewers and only a couple million followed him. I thought he probably was thinking more like five million would have followed him. Well, maybe so, but we're, 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 you know, yeah, two million people paying $13 a month who were paying zero before is also quite an achievement. Oh, I agree. I give them, I, I, I swear to you, uh, I give them all the credit in the world. I, I miss him being in the terrestrial radio world as someone who admires and looks up to him. Uh, but guess what? We we can't just go out of business here. And I always said, we're not just going to go out of business. We're going to keep doing what we do, and we're going to keep hacking away at it. And today is our reward. We did it. We kept going. Uh, and now, I, I like I say, I'm Kobe Bryant winning the championship without check. <laughs> Yeah, well, Kobe's not going to do it. Uh, well, that's my point. At all, but I, uh, Kobe can't do it, but I just did. And and I agree with you. You just did, and I congratulate you. You know, you've done a wonderful job. I just hope you don't uh, jump over to uh, Sirius yourself anytime soon. It would have to take a lot of money, a lot give us more a figure. than because I'm already. No, no, I'll give them a figure when they ask my agent uh, how much it's going to take. I'm not going to give you a figure. <laughs> gotcha. Well, good, but that do me. I don't want people knowing how much I make. All I'm going to tell you is it's a lot, and I signed a five-year deal with CBS, and I'm getting well compensated to sit here. Good enough. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking my call. You take care of yourself and keep doing a wonderful job, you and your staff, man. Thank you, Robert. Appreciate the call. And my, my staff is standing at attention today. Gary, Dino, Art. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Gally, on the Tom Likas show, hello. Hey, Tom. All right, so I am on the 405, stuck in traffic, trying to get something viable on the radio. And I was going to 97.1 by mistake. I haven't listened to your show in years. 
And I heard the old story of treat a woman like crap, you'll get a lot yes, of sex. Yes, that's right. And that's what made us number one. Let me tell you something, honey. Number one, I'm married for about 12 years now. Yeah, I'd like to, I'd like to meet your husband. My husband treats me well. Let me tell you something. We're but not I talking have... about marriage on this program. We're yeah. talking about getting laid. You're talking about getting married. How right. about before then? How about before then? Why did I marry my husband? Because he treated me well. We don't want to get married, he darling. And by the way, there's people, there are people, honey. there are All people. Men want to get married. That, no, no don't we don't. No, Hold we don't. No, no, no. Don't tell me how to do the show, dear. Now you go into the penalty box here while I finish what I'm saying. All men do not want to get married, number one. Number two, I don't care how long you've been married. Before you got married, you hopped into the sack with other men. Some of them treated you like crap. The reason you married your husband is because he's a nicer guy than the guys who treated you like crap who were great in the sack before you met him. Isn't that right, dear? That right? Any guy, any guy who just tried to treat me like crap was out the door. And well, I have right. a lot to offer. Uh, darling, uh, there are plenty of women who have a lot to offer, and you can treat them like crap, or they come back for do more. You think? Do you uh, and think it's been working. And by the way, the reason the we're number to, one, on, the re on, no, no, I, don't, don't, don't tell me to hold on. It's my show. Uh, the reason our show is number one is because my advice is working for millions of American men, millions of them. That's why we're number one in men. Dear. Yes, who don't know? She's still going. Let me ask you a question. Do you think if I was single today? And you claiming you have a lot of money and all the fame in the world. What oh, I'm right? claiming, yeah. I'm claiming I have a lot of money. Let I have the number one radio Do program in Los Angeles. I would even consider you as a Darling, partner. don't worry about it because at, at your age, Never. you've already you passed. At your you age, you have already, like at your age, you have already you passed your sell-by date here. You're already 36 years old. You're way past your sell-by date. Uh, your expiration date passed uh, back in the 90s. And something. so don't worry about it, darling. Uh, I wouldn't care if you would touch me or not because I wouldn't touch you. I could get much younger than you oh, yes, and right. hotter than you. <laughs> All right. Can I put a word in? Or you uh, maybe not. In you know what? Spot. I'll be the judge of that. I'll decide because this is not your show. It's my show. Okay. Can I put a word in? May I? May I put a word in? No. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom is our telephone number. Bitch. Aging bitch. Aging bitch who thinks she's all that. <laughs> Tom Likas. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. You have got to be like the lowest rung on the evolutionary ladder I've heard in a long time. Really? Yeah. The Tom Likas Show. Right. It's the Tom Likas Show from Hollywood at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. You are listening to the number one radio program among men in Southern California. Number one. Nobody's got more listeners than we've got. That's what number one means. And uh, the phones at our sales department are ringing off the hook with people who want to lock in today's advertising rates. I'm telling you, the new rate card is coming, folks. We'll remember the people who were loyal, and uh, we'll remember the ones who took a wait-and-see attitude. That number is 323-971-9710. Yeah, tell you what, feels good. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Rob on the Tom Like His Show. Hello, Rob. Tom, Rob. Rob. Hey, I'm not going to ask how you're doing, Tom, because the uh, truth is I personally really don't care, but what I do care is your show, Tom, has changed my life for the better. Is that so? And that is true. And if uh, I can't really delve into the deep personal stuff, but, man, I tell you what, 
your show has done wonders for me. And, Tom, i got to thank you. i got to thank you, Tom. Well, that's, that's great. And now are you getting more ass than a toilet seat? Oh, uh, my goodness, Tom. When it comes to relationships and when it comes to marriages, I've made every bad mistake. And now, since listening to you, I've made the right choices. And uh, I owe you that, Tom. And congratulations on your numbers because uh, you sure well deserve it. I'm proud of you, Rob. Thank you, Tom. Blow me up, will you? Here you go, baby. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Here comes Casey on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello? Is that a question or a statement? Um, I have a statement. Yes. Okay, so I just heard the 36-year-old broad that decided she was just too good for you. And I wanted to call and let you know that I'm 19, and any day of the week... I would come down there and satisfy you. Really? I'm you... thinking about an uh, appropriate term. You would, you would let me uh, lay some pipe? Is that so? Sounds good to me, dear. What do you look like? Uh, well, <laughs> I'm 5'5". Five five. I have brownish hair and I have a mohawk. <laughs> Is that so? Yes. And how about your knockers, dear? Oh, my God. I have 36D. 36D, really? Yes. Wow. And you're how old again? 19. 19. Wow. Sounds pretty good. Who are you? But, who's, uh, who's we also you? wanted to say that congratulations <laughs> on the number one, because you're also number one with all my friends who happen to be lesbians, not just men. <laughs> now, that's really significant. You would bang me even though you're a lesbian. That That's big. <laughs> exactly. Pretty amazing stuff. Even the lesbians now want to bang me now that I'm number one. Mohawk. With the mohawk and everything. He can do some interesting things with a mohawk. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Cody on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Cody. Hello, Tom. Hello, Cody. What's going on, brother? Let's do a little radio show here. Rock and roll. So, a few things. First of all, congrats on your big numbers, man. They go well with your uh, big paycheck and those big brass balls you mentioned. Thank you so much. They They, they match nicely. And congrats on your new lesbian lovers. Love that. <laughs> I, she's going to use the mohawk on me. <laughs> All right. So I just wanted to touch on something. Last Thursday, you had a lovely little speech about, you know, um, guests that won't come on the show because, you know, they, quote, don't do radio. Right. And you mentioned specifically Vince Vaughn. As as one, yes. And the, the best part of that story is I woke up the next day and turned on your station. And uh, during a commercial... Uh, I happened to switch to another uh, morning show. And guess who was signing off after promoting his brand new movie? Oh, Vince Vaughn, eh? Sure enough, Vince there Vaughn. There we go. Uh-huh. Gotta love it, Tom. You are not only a god, but you can also uh, see the future here like a prophet. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. Can you take me out JFK Jr. style? You know I can, Cody. Here you go. Love it. Rodney on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, hello, Tom. Uh, congratulations on your uh, top-rated uh, radio show uh, out in Los Angeles. And uh, uh, I know uh, you have a great show to listen to uh, each and every uh, uh, day that you uh, uh, on the air. Well, thank you, Rodney. And uh, I'm looking forward to the next uh, party uh, broadcast that you uh, uh, have uh, in the L.A. area or uh, when you come uh, back to Dallas. We want Rod you Rodney, by the way, soon. is one of our biggest fans. Rodney, who lives in Dallas and listens to us in Dallas, has traveled. How many times have you come to Los Angeles to come see our show? Well, once in L.A. and uh, once in uh, Vegas and once in uh, uh, Windsor, Canada, outside of Detroit. Windsor, Ontario. That's right. Exactly. I, now that's a fan. 
Yeah. Love and it. We enjoy your party broadcast, and we want to do it again and uh, go over the top. I, I think that sounds good, Rodney. Uh, we, you know, we were in Dallas, so we didn't do a broadcast, uh, but we were in Dallas uh, for the big uh, NASCAR weekend at Texas Motor Speedway, and yeah. uh, we had a blast. And we had dinner. Uh, we had dinner. Is that Bob Steakhouse? Oh, yeah, my. that's uh, one of the big uh, uh, branded uh, steakhouses across the country. That's one of the places they have in that fourth area. Wow, it was good. Yeah, I'm Fantastic. Sure it was great. I'm you know, looking forward you know, to you know, seeing you again, and uh, you know, hopefully uh, you keep the ratings uh, going uh, strong uh, throughout the uh, uh, winter and uh, you know spring book coming up uh, next year. And uh, I do want to see you very soon. All right, Rodney. Thank you very much. And by the way, now he's got those industry terms. He wants to see us during the spring book. He'll be asking us what the exact average quarter hour numbers are on the TSL. And... Absolutely. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The Tom Lycus Show, number one in men in Southern California. Number one. Alan, Hello. Hey, Tom, I got a jingle I want to sing for you real quick. All right. 97.1, Tom Likas' FM talk station. There we go. Take me A, will you blow me up and take me out with a 97.1 jingle? Yes, absolutely we will as soon as Art gets that together. Go for it, Art. Too many syllables there. Just too, too many. <laughs> if they could have cut two syllables out of it, would have been perfect. 1-800-5800-TOM. Here comes Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, man? Pretty good. Yeah, first of all, Howard Stern is the greatest, not one of the greatest radio personalities. He may very and, well be. Man, just, yeah. And personally, man, I'm about to get married myself, and I think... How old probably... are you, Mike? I'm sorry? How old are you? I'm 21. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. Uh, well, I think I think the, the truth is... Tell us all why you know more than me, Mike. I want to hear it. You want to hear what? Why you think you know more than me. I'd like to hear this. Uh, I'm not saying I know more than you. I think that you probably just got screwed. But that's your fault. That's not, you know no, what I'm no. saying? That's not anybody else's fault. And by the way, any guy who gets divorced gets screwed. And right now, 45 to 50% of all marriages end in divorce. And if you get married young, the numbers are even higher. And people, but people, you people, know people, more than us because people, you are in love. You are truly in love. Yeah, right. are, it's a love like no other love. I mean, all right, yes, you knocked up your girlfriend and you felt obligated, but now you have found the love. You did knock her up, right? I didn't knock anybody up. You haven't knocked her up? I'm not a fool. And this, this is obviously something that happened to you when you were younger. That's why you, you did it. Oh, yes. No, I never did it. I, I don't have any children, son. But what I will tell you is that, uh, of course, we can never understand because you and your fiancé are in love. Deep you want, man, but you love. Uh, it's a love unlike any other love, sir. Whatever happened to you in the past, man, it's your own fault, man. But you well, I know, but of course you know more than I do, and you're going to go ahead and get married. You're going to find out the hard way what getting married is all about because you're in love, Mike. You've got your foot on the gas, and you're heading for that big brick wall out there on the highway, probably out on I-95 somewhere, Mike, because I know you're in West Palm Beach, and there you are. 120 learn, miles an hour heading to the brick it's wall. Not it's not good to be bitter. That's why you live and learn, man. I'm out. Well, oh, well, you're, you're living and learning. I'll tell you what. There you are. You're going to live and learn because you're in love. It's a very special love. It's a love that people like me just can't understand. I'm bitter, and you know what you're doing. 21 years old, getting married. You know more than I do. All I know is later on when she's taking 80% of your paycheck... And you're living in a cardboard box out there on Los Olmos Boulevard. Let me tell you something. You. <laughs> Dean's right on Google Earth right now looking up Los Olmos Boulevard. <laughs> the Tom Likas Show.